It's time for another sudden schematic. And you guys might recall that I did a wee look inside, uh, took a wee look inside some um, festoon type LED lamps. And I got another one from a different supplier, which had the bayonet cap base instead of the Edison screw. And when I plugged it in, I thought, this is just going to have the same circuitry, it's going to have that slight shimmer to it. And um, the diffused LEDs. But this one projected quite a hot spot of light onto the end. And that's because it's got um, the clear LEDs. And it's not got the circuitry that the other one had. The other one cheaped out. It used the capacitor uh, in series of the LEDs wired in two inverse parallel strings so that they actually, half of them lit on each half of the waveform. But in this case, it's got um, mains. It's going through a capacitor, rather predictably, 220 nano. It's got a resistor across it, the discharge resistor of... Uh, 820k, tiny little resistor, and then it's going to the bridge rectifier, and the other mains terminal is going to the bridge rectifier. The output uh, is actually smoothed. They've got the a little capacitor just tacked across the output, which is rated 2.2 microfarad at 50 volt. So that's plus, that's minus, that's AC, AC. Then they go through the LEDs. But in, to save space in the circuit board, they actually interrupt the LEDs part of the way through with the uh, 220 ohm resistor. And that would normally just get put in normal the sort of ballast a type in the, the small LED lamps. That would normally just get put somewhere here. But it really is just a case that they, because the LEDs in our circle around the edge, they just duked in off two of the terminals, went through the resistor, and then kept going through the um, LEDs. And that achieves the same thing. So um, it's interesting, minimalist, and slightly less shimmery than the other ones. But... Having said that, the fact it's got the focused LEDs is, makes it worse than the other ones because the other ones spread the light very even around the globe, which also avoided the shimmering being really terribly visible other than through the camera or maybe just out in peripheral vision. This one uh, just does have, it doesn't have it does have an even light. It tends to have a fairly hot spot of light on the end of this. But other than that, uh, the circuitry is actually better than the other ones. So um, it's quite interesting. <laughs>